Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a Monday on FIFA 23. Today, of course, we are in the middle of this big market crash with the World Cup stuff upcoming. But today's a big Monday because usually on, on Mondays, we get some pretty big upgrade pack SBCs. Specifically, the last three weeks, we have had an Icon Max 86, a Hero Max 87, and an 85 plus Team of the Week. Will we get... Another upgrade SBC like that or similar to one of those three today. That is the question we try to we're gonna try and answer today because we already have some upgrade SBCs that we normally get on Mondays or Tuesdays, like the very early released 80 plus team of the week upgrade and the 80 plus regular gold upgrade that were released on the weekend. We already have this as a part of this warm-up series to the World Cup promo. So that begs the question. What is actually going to happen today for content? Are EA going to try to drain coins off the market with a big SBC like one of the aforementioned? We'll talk about that. And of course, could the market actually rise a bit today? Uh, I've bought some cards hoping that it will. Some golds, some heroes, just because we've seen a lot of fluctuation. Even though the market's been crashing per se and prices have been going down, some prices have hit kind of low points and they continue to fluctuate enough each day that we can actually make some coins off of it. So we're going to take a look at that and all the brand new content that dropped yesterday, including a very interesting Ansu Fati SBC that is a lot more expensive than I was hoping that it would be. But I'm actually kind of thinking about it for the team. But it's one of those price points where it's a bit expensive. So we're going to dive into all of that today. If you're enjoying the videos on the channel, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about Monday Upgrade SBCs. Now, once again, we mentioned it, right? Icon pack, hero pack, 85 plus team of the week. Out of all three of those, I feel like the icon or the hero would be a great opportunity for EA Sports to drop a big time SBC today on a Monday that would drain coins off of the market. And that's, of course, with the SBC content that we have had, right? Afati, that's a big name player. That's a pretty big SBC, to be completely honest. Higuain's card was really good. We've had a lot of really good value content recently. Even though Zinchenko's card doesn't look that great, the value's not terrible. Lewandowski, Gakpo, like these SBCs that we have been getting have not been terrible value by any means. Is EA going to try to continue the trend of good value SBC content by putting out either a hero or an icon pack today? Now, let me remind you, there's no brand new pack code added, right? Like if we go back and, and take a look at like the foot scoreboard Twitter account, which by the way, if you guys are not following this account, I would highly recommend doing so because they tweet whenever new pack code is live and when it gets updated into the game. We don't have any new pack code at the moment uh, of a new upgrade pack that could drop. But let me remind you, that there is a guaranteed hero and a guaranteed base icon pack that have been added into the code for a few weeks that could technically drop at any time. And I'm not trying to create panic or anything like that today because I think it's a slim possibility, but still a possibility that we would get one of those SBCs today. I think if you actually remember a year ago at this exact same time was when we had the base icon SBC dropped in the game it was on i think it was on like a sunday or they dropped like a 50k preview pack and then they dropped a base icon upgrade no max rating right so could they release one of those sbcs uh today either a hero upgrade or an icon base icon with no rating max i guess there's potential for it we're just gonna have to wait until 6 p.m and see again right now with the way content is going it's not according to like an ea normal schedule of how they release things it seems to be kind of all over the place so we're talking about this potential for an sbc but really anything goes for today we just know that mondays are usually the days that we get big upgrade packs so that's kind of the potential for what we could have today i feel like the 85 plus team of the week is out of question because that team of the week sbc was specific for team of the weeks before this current uh team of the week that we have right now although ea could maybe re-release the 85 plus because this team of the week like you know you've got bentancourt osaman mane and Devry and Kobo, right? It's basically all fodder cards besides like two players in this in this in in this team of the week. So there wouldn't be much demand for an 85 plus team of the week, even if it did include these brand new cards from Team of the Week 7 as well. So that's why I'm kind of riding that one off. But again, there is, I guess, potential that that one could drop today. Now, if we're getting a big SBC, any of the hero or the icon pack variety, what that would make fodder move up a lot, I, th I think. Because again, at this stage right now, there's decent content that's going on. But people absolutely love those SBCs when they were dropped earlier this year. Let's go find them really quick in the expired SBC tab. 
uh, because they are worth finding absolutely. Just the fact that they were so cheap for the time frame that they were released in the game, people were super duper excited about them, right? 144K for the max 86 icon upgrade. And then the more exciting SBC was the max 87 foot hero upgrade at 73,000 coins. You guys remember what that did to SBC fighter across the game. If either of those upgrade packs come today and they're halfway decent value, that would be a huge help and a huge lift to our fodder prices on the market that have already continued to, to rise, right? I mean, yesterday you had the Ansu Fati that pushed these cards up a bit. There was an 87 rated squad in Fati, and a lot of you guys might be like, Nate, are people actually doing this SBC? Yeah, I mean, even though the downvote to upvote ratio is a lot more in the negative, 300,000 coins for an explosive four-star, four-star Ansu Fati, and most importantly, the Barcelona links, right? With the way chemistry works in this year's game, having these big club links in your team, a lot of people have Kessi, a lot of people have Usman Dembele, there's a lot of Barcelona cards that are pretty hype, and this guy is an easy insert into the team, even though he's a bit expensive, right? I said 150k in yesterday's video, I was mentioning 150k because I said if he was that cheap with a good card, that would make SBC fodder go up like crazy. Now, he obviously wasn't that cheap. People think he's too expensive, but some people think that he's good. You can see the, the mixed upvote to downvote ratio. That's really what that's telling me. Uh, and you saw some fodder go up, right? The 88s went up a bit. 87s didn't move too much. 86s didn't move too much, but they're all up a tiny bit. We didn't have any supply yesterday. So if you have fodder, I would be holding. Yes, I would be holding the line on SBC fodder today. The only thing that would hurt the price of fodder is if we would get a tradable pack supply SBC. And yesterday... We had the second World World Cup warm-up challenge, and it was untradeable for a rare Electrum Players pack. Decent pack, but untradeable. So there was not any new supply on the market yesterday, which made fodder just continue to go up a bit or stay a little stagnant. So if we do get a big hero or an icon SBC today, though, I do think that fodder would go up because there's still a, just there's just a lot of hype for those sorts of SBCs. And, and right now, I think right before a big promo with World Cup stuff, it would not be the best use of your coins to maybe go out and do an SBC like that. But when it's 70K for a hero upgrade, people are going to go for it, man. They're going to risk it and they're going to go for it because people love SBCs like that in this game. That's the bottom line. So I'm just opening a couple quick two player packs that I have right here from, I don't even know what this is, probably the daily login. Yeah, that's what it is from. Nice. A couple 82s. Not too bad. Let's move on to the next point. I want to talk about the daily content that we're actually getting right now in this game that I think is going unnoticed, but I, I want to give EA some credit for this because I think there's some credit that needs to be given because this is daily player content that is leading us into the World Cup. And if you're from any of these nations, you absolutely love seeing the, the Danish lads, right? Or uh, the Ghana players. Duncan's looks really, really good. You know, Espino looks decent for a La Liga left back. Stuani looks okay too. Like these nations dynamic duos, and this is the, the tweet that Foot Sheriff put out yesterday, and he's making it seem like, is there potential that these dynamic duos are going to continue to drop every day? He's saying, as it seems, one dynamic duo each day for every World Cup nation. And again, this is where I want to give EA the credit because let's be honest, even though not a lot of these players are going to make it into our starting 11s, this kind of content is a tremendous W. It's not that crazy hard to grind. You go and score a bunch of goals in managerial masterpiece. You assist with a couple cards and you win eight games. Yeah, it's a bit of a grind or you have to do it in division rivals or squad battles. I mean, it's actually, they made the best card the easiest to attain. You play eight squad battles matches and you win and you get this Duncan card. That's a W. So... It seems like we're getting each, every and every day, we're getting a new nation featured in this dynamic duo, which I like this dynamic duo feature a lot. And I will say, uh, there's maybe we haven't really found out a pattern with this yet. Maybe we'll find out some more today. Um, but I, again, I'm just a fan of this content. This is fun content that doesn't, of course, not everybody's running out to do, but I think we could get some really nice hidden gems through these dynamic duos. And, you know, a couple of them might become overpowered and, you know, some of them might be worth doing because you never know who's going to show up and play well at the world cup. And then of course, some more special cards come out, maybe man of the matches come out and then you need these cards from those specific nations to link them in squads. So, you know, depending on how much you want to grind and what cards look the best to you, or maybe you, what nation you think is a bit of a sleeper nation in the World Cup, maybe completing some of these dynamic duos 
would be pretty smart. Now, I will say, the first three that we have had, we've had one from South America, we've had one from Africa, we have had one from Europe. Those are the three kind of regions that have been represented by these dynamic duos. We have not had Asia or North America yet. So, could our dynamic duo today, if we're going to get one today on Monday, be from one of those North American or Asia nations that is in the World Cup. And there's a handful of there. You think of guys like the USA, you think of Canada, you think of Mexico. Then, of course, you think of Japan, you think of Korea, you think of Saudi Arabia. Like those are in the certain regions that we could be potentially looking for uh, if EA is going to continue that trend. So, just something to watch out for today. That's not a leak by any means, but I will say that Foot Sheriff has been leaking these every single day that they have been released. If you look on his Twitter, right? It's every single day now he says, hey, Narte and Brun Lawson are at it to come. So a couple hours before content today, watch out for this. We could have some leaks about it and maybe get some more information there. So definitely keep an eye on that. Now, what I want to talk about for the remainder of this video is the market. And as you saw, I just got a sale here. Always lazy list your fodder, right? I'm pretty sure Tiago on the market right now is selling for like 13K, sold them at 14,750. Always be lazy listing because you never know when these guys are gonna sell and somebody will, will pick up your card and pay a couple extra thousand coins and boom, then you have some more coins to work with and to go back out and trade with. We're in the process of still making a lot of the coins back that we lost over the last couple of days with the market being crazy. One of these Cancelos, I waited to sell until he spiked and he just spiked up like an extra 30K. I think he's been around like 460,000 coins. And I ended up just selling this card now for 490 because I checked Footbin and his card price was up. And he's kind of rare in the nighttime. And as you can see now, he's he's back down to like 4 472. So I'm glad I sold him at 490. And what I have done is I've gone out to the market and picked up a lot of gold cards for hopefully a market rise today. And that's what I want to look at right now on the market because I think there's potential for the market to rise up a little bit today. And let's be honest, if you've picked the right gold cards in the past two days, there have been gold cards on this game that have been fluctuating enough to make profit every single day in the past couple of days. Let's take a look at Mr. Nkunku, right? 27,000 coins at the moment. Saturday, he was 26. He went up to 29. Not a lot of profit, but flippable, right? You have less than 2K of tax there. Yesterday, again, 27, up to 30,000 coins. Every day, like clockwork, this Nkunku was going from like 26, 27K up to about 30,000 coins. And if you're getting these cards down here at their lowest price on a couple bids, on a couple snipes, you might be able to win Nkunku's at like 25, 26K and then sell them at like 31K a couple hours later into the morning as people get on the game. That's the fluctuation that I'm seeing right now with the gold card market. Take a look at Van Dyke, right? Yesterday on Sunday, he was 176 he went all the way back up to 190, right? You you don't have the biggest of margins, but these gold cards continue to fluctuate in price. I bought Vinny's yesterday. Uh, you saw me looking at him on the YouTube video. I bought Vinny's right here. I got him for like 118, 119 on Snipe. I ended up selling him at 130, right pre before the content drop. I think he went even a little bit above 132. He's like 132, 133. And now he's back down, right? That's the kind of fluctuation flips that are actually seeming to be pretty consistent and the most profitable on this market right now. So as we're heading into a Monday, I would I would kind of search around on the market a bit. If you're waking up today, look around for some gold cards that are maybe still low. Like uh, this Teo Hernandez was 68K yesterday. We don't have any new left backs that have been leaked or, or dropped into the game. Um really at all. A bit of the Serie A hype is, is kind of, I guess you could say, going away. But, um, you know, Ateo Hernandez, French left back in general, you know, 60K for this card after he was selling at 68, 69,000 coins yesterday. He's not quite 60. You can tell he's getting kind of low and maybe starting to get a bit rare. But you could sit here and try to bid and snipe on these at like 60,000 coins if he's still there. He and ooh, maybe on bid right here. Watch like that's the sort of thing you can do on the late night market or early morning as you're waking up and watching this video uh, is, is find some gold cards that could maybe rise up because gold cards in a crash like this, people go away from some of the more expensive stuff and they go out and they kind of buy the cheaper golds. But uh, then that makes the golds fluctuate a bit more as people are using cheaper teams and using safer teams, if you will, just because the cards are less expensive. So they feel like they're using cards that won't drop as much. 
um, and they have less tax. So there's validity to that point. But that's what I would do on the market today. I've picked up some gold cards, just some very popular cards from the Premier League. Uh, I was looking at Gold Cancelo. I think that he is up a little bit for me. Where I'd like to get him a little bit lower. I really wanted like 60K. He's like 64. So, you know, 60, 61, 62 is maybe okay for Cancelo. Uh, and you're hoping that he can go above 70,000 coins. Again, what I would do is go to Footbin and look through a lot of these gold cards and find the ones that fluctuate the most. Militao, 59K. What did he do yesterday? He went from 59 to 61. All right, not much. Saturday, he went from 59 to 67. So, you know, there's some days where these cards do better than others and some days where they don't do as great. Uh, but I would look around the market and try to find some deals on some cards that you think could go up. Now, if you don't want to do golds, if you're kind of scared uh, of those and you want to stick to the out-of-packs cards, out-of-packs cards, I think, are going to do a decent, decently well today on Monday as well. Look around the market and find some deals, guys. You really can find them out there, and the market's been fluctuating, and prices have been moving. Like, this Reese James is 119. Uh, yesterday, he was as low as 113, 115. Went all the way back up 10,000 coins to 125, which, again, you, you would have really needed to get this guy like 110 and then sell him at 124 to make it good money. On Saturday, he went down to 108 and then spiked up to 121. So this card's hitting like 124, 125 just about every single day or at least above 120. So that's the kind of stuff you can look, you can look for. Fred is 110 at the moment. Yesterday, he was 102, went back up to 110 multiple times. Saturday, he was down to 91, right? That Saturday morning market crash was pretty nuts. So that's what I would watch out for. It doesn't have to be with these out of packs or out of position cards either. You can look into rule breakers, right? Maybe find a couple cards in here that are pretty low and fluctuation trade with them, right? Arsenal won yesterday. Smith Rowe is 44K. You know, maybe there's a little bit of extra Arsenal hype this morning. He went from 42K up to 45, peaked at 47. And, you know, like you probably need to see him go a little bit lower if you're going to end up buying him. But maybe a LaCroix is kind of low. I don't know all those lower tier card prices that much. But if you do a little bit of research, you can find some low ones in here. I think you're going to see, like we look at on these gold cards, I think you're going to see a sizable enough market rise into the morning today on Monday that if you wanted to, uh, you could buy some cards in the low point and hopefully see a bit of a rise today and sell them before content. If you don't want to risk it at all, sell them before content, taking a safe route in this market right now is probably the way to go, right? Like if you're going to buy somebody and try to flip them today, I would sell pre-content just because right now this market is one big volatile mess and I wouldn't want to be holding on to too many cards um, just because one little SBC for pack supply or a hero SBC or something along those lines uh, could be really, really good. So it could be really, really detrimental, not good uh, to the market. So that's what I would say to be doing at the moment. And you saw a couple heroes on there as well. I still have a couple heroes myself. Um, I bought cards yesterday with the Ansu Fati SBC dropping. A lot of strikers went down. Like uh, you can see on my transfer list, I was trading with some Robbie Keens. Uh, then I sold at 240. I sold those pre-content yesterday at around 250k. Robbie Keane's now back down at 210, where I picked up a couple more, hoping that he can go back up to about 230 for a quick flip there, because you know he is decently rare. It's a prem striker. People loved using Premier League and FIFA, and he doesn't have that many cards to 230. So I'm hoping that he can rebound back up just a little bit. Um, you know, I'm, and I'm just been looking at some other heroes that are down. Uh, Landon Diamond was a little bit low earlier. It was like 75K. He was in the low 70s. So that's what I would say to do as well is click around that foot bin market. Look for some heroes. Look for some out of packs cards. And again, just be ready for what 6 p.m. could bring today. If there's a lot of panic selling as we head into the content drop today, uh, that would be something that we could watch out for and maybe profit off of if the content's not that good. Um, and then also... Here's what I have to say as well. I, I maybe have mentioned this because, you know, this, the, Tag, the Tiago, but I really want to drill this home. Always be lazy listing. Always, always, always be lazy listing the cards that you have on your transfer list, whether it's fodder. Like I've got a bunch of 86s still that you guys saw, right? I've got some 86s, a couple 87s. I'm always lazy listing these because I think there's potential to get a couple thousand coins extra per card on profit uh, and if you get a little bit lucky to get a lazy buyer. So that's the one thing uh, that I would be consistently and constantly doing on this game. And yeah, other than that, I mean, again, to Monday, it's a big, a bit of a question mark for sure. We're still waiting on these packs, by the way. Uh, I talked about it in like the past two days. 
we're still waiting on these nation specific France, England, Germany packs. By the way, I know in yesterday's video, I mentioned like, could they be tradable? I really feel like these are going to be untradable, but since it does not explicitly say untradable in these packs in the code, you never know. So that's the one thing, again, that I have to issue as a word of warning and a word of caution is since they say technically that they're not explicitly untradable, you never know what could happen. So just be careful, right? Just be very careful with that stuff today. But, you know, hopefully it's today. I mean, I'm ready to see these packs drop in the game. I, I'm, I don't want to wait any longer. Um, so hopefully that EA can, hopefully EA can drop those packs in the game today. But if I'm being realistic, I think it's probably going to be a day where we potentially get an upgrade pack SBC or it'll be, it'll end up being maybe a bit of an L day. We're just going to really, it's, it's really going to depend on what the leaks are today and, um, you know, what EA want to do with this game. Are they going to try to keep it hype and drain some coins off the market and make SBC fodder go up, which would be a cash out opportunity for us, right? And selling a lot of the fodder that we have in the club, or are they going to make this week a little bit quiet until we get to probably like Wednesday or Thursday, that's when things are going to start to heat up and get hype with that World Cup content really on the doorstep. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. Best of luck trading on the market. We're back streaming today. I can't wait to get back on the stream. That link is down below in the description, twitch.tv slash the I will see you there. It's been Nate. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.